Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy, with the daily gratitude dues for Friday, July 10th, 2020. And today I want you to focus a little on all the things in your life that you're grateful for that are not material. The things that are definitely material, we don't want to focus things on that, on that today. This is going to be family and friends and everything else. So let's talk a little bit about materialism and how it affects us with gratitude. Gratitude reduces materialism. Materialism is strongly correlated with reducing well-being and increased rates of mental disorder. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. The problem with materialism is that it makes people feel less competent, reduces feelings of relatedness and gratitude, and reduces their ability to appreciate and enjoy the good in life. It generates negative emotions and makes them more self-centered. So why is materialism negatively correlated with happiness and well-being? The pursuit of wealth and power has been shown in dozens of studies to be a highly inefficient method of increasing well-being and happiness. To be sure, if your income doubles, you will be slightly happier. But how much effort do you think is involved in doubling your income? How many sacrifices are required? Motivational speakers will tell you that the money is worth the sacrifices. I disagree. Even worse, after you increase your income, the positive benefits will slowly fade due to hedonic adaptation, which we talked about earlier a couple days ago. Applying that same level of energy it takes to double your income towards strengthening one's relationships, cultivating compassion and gratitude, and so on, will more reliably create positive, transformative change. Said differently, material success is not a very important factor in the happiness of highly grateful people. How does gratitude reduce materialism? Materialism flows from two sources, role model and insecurity. Americans are inundated with materialistic role models every single day, from advertisements which highlight materialism, materialistic themes, to celebrity culture which glorifies the rich and frivolous, to business culture in which we are told our dreams should be to be rich and powerful. Gratitude helps by reducing our tendency to compare ourselves to those with a higher social status. Great point. Those who are insecure, that is, those that have not had their basic psychological needs, needs met, are more likely to be materialistic. Gratitude is an effective strategy for reducing insecurity. Lastly, will gratitude make me lazy? Those who are more materialistic are more likely to relentlessly pursue wealth. So while gratitude won't make you lazy over your lifetime, you may end up earning less money. You will instead refocus on other things. You may, for example, spend time with your family, friends, and your hobbies, and that's such a good thing. And we talk about that so much, about focusing on all the things that you're grateful for. And today, just think about all the things you're grateful for that are not material. It's just such a bad road to go down. So that's the message in the daily gratitude news for today. I'm David Brooke, that gratitude guy. We will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. And remember, be grateful and never quit.